This is a lot of work. It's like my job. It's like everything. It's like my sanctuary. It's really what I say. It's like my happy place. Feel you? So I can do no wrong here. I hop out of my fucking phantom, I call it a go. Feeling like any phantom, I'm a go. She calling me, baby, I'm exploding. Baby, I'm at your show, I see you been ground. Ain't met your tuckers, believe I'm a blow. I just bought a patty, boy, you know it's frowns. My bitch is a 10, but your bitch is a 8. What's up, man? What's good, man? Malcolm, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, nigga. I'm Ivan. Oh, yeah, I'm Ivan. Look at this bitch going. Yeah. Oh, oh shit. That's hard. You gotta yes, flip sir. upside down. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're rocking a Lu a, a Lumex, yeah. okay? So like, talk to me like about even like how you came up with it. Like, what are you? What all are you doing? Like, talk to me about that. So uh, basically, uh, you, you, I don't know if you know who Aiden Ross is. Like, he kind of like a the you uh, you're not a like YouTuber, but like the Twitch disc, uh, yeah. Right now. yeah. Twitch. So basically, like a lot of rappers or a lot of artists will go to him, they get on his like stream or whatnot mm -hmm. to like promote they you know promote what they got going on before it come out. And they oh shit! Beat, you know what I'm saying? Oh shit! I didn't know. From him just being him type shit. Uh -huh. So I thought about some shit like that, but you know I didn't want to copy. You know what I'm saying? I don't really want to copy. I want to come up with some original type shit. So I figure, you know. Shoot, like I, I know a lot of people do a carpool karaoke before they did that. Yeah. And I was like, shit, I'm gonna just combine the two. You feel me? Yeah, like, you yeah, know, I can slick. do something like that. You know, you get in, basically, you know, you preview some music you got coming out. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? And then, uh, you know, I ask you a couple questions. And that's basically, you know, that's basically it. Like, just, you know, for people to get to know you type shit. Yeah, you know yeah. what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, man. I, I fuck with this. I, I, yeah, I fuck with that's this. Is this rolling already? Yeah, yeah it's nigga. already rolling. Sorry. It was rolling since we walked in the car. <laughs> This nigga. I, I, I fuck with that, bro. Like, it's new, like, it's fresh. Like, that's hard. This camera's clean as hell, too, man. Yeah. All right. I'm Ivan, you know. I'm an artist. I'm a music creative. I say, you know, I just started making beats like yesterday, really. So I say I'm a music creative, you know. I just love music, man. Like, studio, like, that's it. Like, yeah. anyways, you got some new shit coming out, bro. You know, let people. Figure out what you want, bro. Let's see what type of music they feel, bro. Listen, I'm gonna play this one thing. I'm, I'm really about to drop uh, July 25th. Yes, sir. I'll yes, play sir. this. It's, it's some different shit. Now, you gotta, now, when you hear this, though, you gotta keep it a buck, though. Like, oh, yeah, yeah. If it's bad, you gotta tell me. Seriously. I'm dead ass. Right. Like, on camera, if it's bad, <laughs> no, I'm dead ass. Yeah, of course, bro. You know I'm giving you money, I got the fire, they straight out the dungeon. I got the lion, they come out the oven. Niggas be lying, they telling me nothing. Them bitches don't count when you selling the money. How I feel about the city, no, I'm trying to run it. I locked in on the Monday, doing punches. And we came to the back of the function, knocking the door, and it's me and my cousin. You can turn a zero to a hundred. Treat a bad bitch like she nothing. A lot of them bitches still love me. I promise I ain't saying nothing. I be praying they got like a homie. I wake up in the morning, I be flipping this thing and doing this. I got all hundreds, ain't no new hundreds. Work the Billy truck, comes two hundreds. Oh, no, no, no. <laughs> hold on, hold on, hold on. Yo, 
I don't even, like, I don't really do a lot of drill, like, there's a lot of people, like, around me were telling me to drop this, like, this nigga, he earned it, he was like, bro, drop this shit, that shit's hard, bro, you gotta, you gotta let that's, niggas that's, hear that. That's, that's, that's hard, bro. That's hard right there. I ain't gonna count, bro. I was like, you know, I'm, I was gonna be a hard critic, bro. You know, I don't know. I don't know if I'm feeling it type shit. Yeah. Nah, like, it was hard coming on everything, bro. <clears throat> like, I would put that in my playlist type shit. So. All right. Yes, All right. sir. I'm, let me play you some. Then you got another vibe, though. Like, like, cause that's just some shit I, matter of fact, let me play this. It's cause I just dropped this bitch, and this is just some shit I like. It's Don't Talk. I just dropped this. Alright, bro. So basically, man, what got you into music, bro, in the first place? Damn, what got me into music? Like, the best way to say that I was able to express myself. Like, I really got into it just being able to, like, just kind of playing around with different things. Like in high school, like you know, you do different little hobbies. Like, exactly. And and I kind of just got into music. Like, I had some cousins doing it, and you know, they heard me. They're like, bro, like I was kind of playing around, like. And they're like, bro, just why don't you try to make a song for real? I tried it, bro, and and, and I made this song called Zoom. I played it in my high school, and like people were like, hey, it's kind of hard, like oh right, shit, right, like they right. played it like at different high schools, and like people from different high schools like were adding me, like yo, bro, like that Zoom song, like and I like I was just like kind of like playing around with it, like at that time. So I just saw that, and and that just changed my whole perspective of of, of doing something. It's like I, I saw the impact of it. But it's like the impact that it had on me was like I was able to take like my emotions and control them. I was able to take how I was feeling, like what I'm learning, and I can reteach myself or teach people. You know, like put people on game through my music. Like I can, I can give you a vibe through my music, or I can bring back that vibe that I felt for my music when I listened to the song again. And just keep doing that. It became a drug for me, and then I realized I can create that drug for other people. And then it became, that became a drug. You see what I'm saying? And she's like, the more I do it, like, like I said, I just started producing and it's like, that's a new drug. Like, three drugs, it's a lot. Like, you get addicted. Like, that's really how I got into it. It's really like, you know, I just. really thought that shit. No, that's just like, that's real though. Like, it, it helps me express myself. Like, I feel like when I used to talk a lot, just, like I, I was not understood the right way, you know. Like I, I, I wasn't. What I was trying to say didn't get conveyed the right way, you know. Okay, okay. But with music, it does. Like people understand exactly what I'm saying. Like they, they, they learn fast. They just get me in a different way. So. All right, all right, all right. Uh, so how would you describe the music that you create, like? Like what's the type of what's type of wave or like what type of music you feel like? You know what I'm saying? Yeah. What type of style like, you feel like? I would say the kind of music I make is all of the above. Like there's really no lane. I don't. There's not a lane that I'll say mm, no to. You know, for me, my genre is hard music, and that's the music I want to make, and that's the music I want to listen to. Just as long as it's hard, put it on. As long as it's hard, let's record, let's cook up. Like that's me. You know, I really want to create whatever vibe I'm in and then put that into a song right. so then I can put other people in that. How you doing, man? Uh, do you have a collaboration that you want to do with somebody right now? And, like, is there a dream collaboration or something out there in the future? All right, a dream. So that would just be, like, a feature. Or, well, no, yeah. I guess it could be... I'm, honestly, it could be collaboration. It could be anything. So, like, you want shit, cool, Benny, do your video type shit or... You know what I'm saying? Like any type of collaboration you want to endorse or something. I, I'd say the collaborations I want to do right now, like there's a lot of talented artists, producers. Like I can, I, it's a big ass list, but but honestly, I probably say the first thing that comes into my brain, I just think like Nike. Like that's that's the collaboration. I think about Nike, 
doing a collaboration with them, like some way, somehow, just some crazy shit, like like Nike, Jordan, like those brands, like that's the kind of collaboration I think of right now. Oh shit! If you could open a show for any artist, who you think it would be, man? If I could open, like if a nigga just hit you on the yeah. And that nigga, like I just feel like his vibe, like it's just crazy. I feel like, I feel like he's a demon in the studio. I really gotta, you know. But I see how he does his shows and like how he puts so much effort. Like Kanye, like I see how much time he takes, and I see he really takes time to even be a performer. And like that's an art too. Like that's a part of the. That's a part of the package. Like, I just feel like that would be such a dope ass experience. Say the third. I don't know which one. Oh, hey, can I? Hey, can I? Try this. Hey, can I switch this out for like a sweet tea? Like a sweet tea? Yeah, yeah let me just get a sweet tea, please. Yeah, they trying to play the niggas. Holy shit! Yeah, I I thought this would at least give me like this, man. Like, yeah. <laughs> I know they taxed me for that too. That little ass box. They taxed me yeah. two dollars, three dollars for that yeah. box. So what do you think about that second one though? Be, be honest. Like, you hear the first one, the second one. Give me your opinion, your perspective on both. All right. So second one, I'm definitely vibing to. Like, I don't smoke. I don't smoke a lot. When I do, like, that's definitely something I'm putting on. Like, for everybody, they like smoking. Yeah. That definitely. shit makes you, like, levitate, bro. Yeah, exactly. It got the right type of bass to it and everything. So I'm definitely, like, I'm definitely floating on that one. Right. First one, drill. The drill music, that's just my, that's just more my style. Oh, so okay. I'm definitely, like, I'm playing that shit. I'm playing that shit in the car. I ain't going to cap. The second one. It's going, in, it's going in the playlist, but it's going in one of, it's going in like, like I'm saying, like, I gotta be on the chill. Yeah. I'm playing that you shit. You gotta be in that chill, mode. Or I'm like mad space. as fuck or something like that. Yeah. And I'm playing that, you feel me? Mm -hmm. So yeah, definitely both, both W bangers for sure. For sure. I I it's it. definitely two type of vibes though. So, I mean, you definitely giving them range. You know what I'm saying? Dang, People man. range. That's, that's, that's all, good. Like I said, it's no genre. Like, I really like, there's no genre. Like, I, I just, Put on the beat, whatever vibe. That's how I'ma talk. Like I just talk to the mic about my my day, you know, my problems. Exactly. You know the good things that happen, everything. So you definitely want to sound the same. I mean, it's a lot of people that sound exactly the same every time. Every. You know that mic. So. Yeah, you definitely showing them range. Right? Double XL freshman is like important. You think that's important or not? I mean, I say, damn, is that my Jeep track on? I say that XXL. <laughs> I say XXL, I mean like I grew up seeing some of that like I, I don't know if I say it's imp what do you mean by important? Like you think like you see you see people that get on there with like logic. Like mm -hmm. he got on like fucking I don't know, the labels on there. Uh, people that usually go on there blow up. Yeah. So you think that like that's like a, a thing that you need to be successful. Now Drake nah, wasn't on there. You don't need it, exactly. It's not there a lot go. of people like Drake though. Yeah, you right. You're right, so, but you now do you think I, you saying do you, do I need it or just do in you general? Think, you think like in general, like you think people need that to like to push themselves out there, like at some point in your career, like okay, I need to make the X on that label. You you don't need XXL, you go straight. You don't need XXL. You don't need money. If you really work hard, this is all you need. It's all one of these. Literally, okay. If you really want it bad enough, though, like. You know, like, it might take you 10 years, but if you really want it bad enough, you don't have to even spend a dime. Like, there's people recording off their phone. Okay. You just have to find a way to get it, you know? Like, it might be hard. Don't don't work the hardest way. No, that's not what I'm saying, but you don't need a lot of that. Like, you don't need it. You know, XXL is dope. Like, they, they do so much for the community, you know, and everything like that, and they put people on. Like how you said, like, I think the hardest XXL, that went with Uzi and, and 21 Savage, Yachty, oh, man, yeah, like that, that's 2016, that was a time, man, like, exactly. and uh, after that, like, but you don't need, I don't think you need it, you know, I don't, it, it's definitely like a good thing to add to your resume just to say like, oh no, he was there, or at least he got invited, you know, but. Not for sure. Alright, right, what you think, something about the industry that needs to change, like if you could change anything, what would it be? If I could change something in the industry, I can't say that because I wouldn't say I'm in the industry yet. 
And and but what I will say for the industry that I am in locally, like the community, I say that it's a lot of people that are talented. They have a lot of shit off their chest. They want to a lot of shit on their mind or on their hearts. They want to get off their chest. But you know, it's so much butting heads instead of like collecting checks together. Like. There's so much bread out here for everybody to make. There's so many girls out here for everybody to have their way with. Like, it's so much of everything for everybody to have and and more. And but I feel like everybody, you know, some or not everybody. I feel like some people they think about you know little things. They got little issues. Like, damn, oh, why am I not this? Why? Yeah, you making this right. It's to to where it's like they don't. They allow that little thing to get in the way of the bigger picture. You know, they allow it to stop the business. Like, and the business is, you know, the industry, the music, and you just gonna go straight. You wanna get in that left lane though. But it's just like, I feel like this little, like, you know, there's little things that stop people from really working together, really saying, hey, you're tough, homie, and you over here running whatever you're doing in Orlando. Hey, homie, you're tough, and you're running whatever you're doing in Tallahassee. Okay, you're in Tampa. Okay, you're in Jacksonville. All right, let's do a five-song EP. And I'm not saying just because everybody's popping, you gotta you gotta mess with them. I'm not saying that, but I'm saying be more open to the possibility of working together. Be more open to the possibility of everybody working. And, and you see, like, there's different people. There's Atlanta has that community. Detroit, you're gonna make this love. Has that community like? Memphis kind of has been having that little community and like you see what happens a whole wave like people just fuck with who they fuck with No one's saying you got to be buddy buddy with everybody bro like but just fuck with who you fuck with you don't have to be Hollywood like You can't have like I mean I, I don't focus on followers I, I don't none of that but there's no way you have less than 200 followers and then you want 200 for a feature like to me I feel like you're hustling backwards you're not looking at it at the right way like I feel like there's another way to look at it. Like, try not to put, you know, I don't know. But maybe I'm just bullshitting. Man, what do I know? And a week ago, I'm trying to get everything right, you know. This. Right now, this is a new studio. This is my new home. Until, you know, get a new crib. Place. Feel you? Uh, so I can do no wrong in here. Yes, sir. You know, honestly, right now, like, I want to play you this beat that I just started making, and I want your honest opinion. Like, I don't know if we should put it in the video because it may not be too good. But... <laughs> I got you. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> no <key to> that beat you made. So let's see what you're talking about. This nigga just played me some hard ass shit, bro. I'm not going cap, bro. His vault, his vault is ready, bro. I gotta be prepared for this man, bro. All right, Brody. I ain't gonna take up too much of your time. Now you got some magic to make in here. But uh, what's your creative process like, man? Cause that what you just played me, you played me three different sounds, bro. Like, well, how are you thinking of this shit? Like. I actually the trick is if I tell you the real, I don't think at all. When you I just write, go. I just Fuck do. With you. I don't think. So it's the most authentic. Like it's just what comes off of my mouth and my heart. Like I do not think like at all. I try my best not to think when I record. Yes, sir. Unless I really gotta write something down that's really lyrical and I'm really trying to convey like I'm trying to use lyricism to convey a specific message, like I just want to do that. That's that's my most authentic self. It's my sure. most raw self. Guys, too, bro. Hey, if you want it, have you performed yet or not? Nah? I mean, like, kinda. It was like at a little, like, like just a little venue, like, like ten people, like. Alright. Oh yeah. So yeah, I say yeah, yeah. Shit, you got a place that you thinking like, damn, bro. I I go here like a nigga made it. Like I with venue, I'll be like, I made it right here. I'm here. Like I'm really here. I was just talking about it. I said like Madison Square Gardens, like, like when I do some shit like that, but like over and over again, like twenty thousand people, like sold out crowd, like arenas, like 
to come back here and be able to do Civic Center, bro, like... Yes, sir. That's just some dope shit. I feel like that's when I, I, I see everything in a, in a full circle kind of a way. Exactly. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, bro. Well, that's really all the questions I have for you, shit. We got... We listen to some... We listen to some music. Yeah, yeah. Man, he y'all watch out for him, bro. He on the way, bro. You gotta watch out for Sean, man. He on the fucking way. You know what I'm saying, hey, man. man? I'm trying to tell man, you, niggas not ready, bro. You know what I'm saying, bro? We we really gotta put Tyler Ice on the map, bro. We really have to, nigga. It's not a lot of people doing that shit. It's not. It's <laughs> not. It's nobody doing it right now. It's nobody. T Pain. T Pain oh, did fuck. it, and he's gone. But he's he's on some other. He's he's done his own thing, like. And that's what you're supposed to do. So it's now, it's like up to us, really. Honestly. It really is. All right, bro. Do you got to plug yourself? Any plugs you want to let out? Anything you got going on? Uh, shit, shout out to fucking this nigga Malcolm because yes, he's going with us to the studio. It's 10 a.m. Yes, sir. It's 11 a.m. now. We're about to get ready to cook up. Like, dedication. That's, that's what I like. Shout out to Malcolm. Just shout out, I can shout out a lot. Shout out nigga Big Mango, Mango Beach, y'all really know the vibes. Yes, sir. And just, you know, shout out God, man. Like, everything's possible to him. Like, shout out you, bro, for fucking coming through. Like, of support course. someone love. Like, even fucking having the idea to even do this, like, that's big. Like, and, and, and just showing love, I appreciate that. Of like, course, bro. It all starts here, bro. It all starts here. Uh, man, I already know what it is. Hold up, shit, that shit is not focused. Man, y'all already know what it is, man. Y'all follow me on all my social medias at Stay Great Shine. Everything at Stay Great Shine. Instagram, Twitter, Snapchat, YouTube. Everything except Twitch is Stay Great. Y'all already know what it is. It is your boy Stay Great Shine. I'm your boy Shine. I hope y'all stay great. Peace out, though. Roll out. I can't be with some of you bitches, but none of you niggas. Diamonds in my ear getting bigger, but you ain't listen. You ain't gonna feel it, maybe I should kill a nigga How I'm in the middle of your shit, but I don't get it, I don't get it So they just hit on Cause they don't get it